Hello everybody, my name is Jan Horlings and it's my honor to present to you today uh, our new upcoming and exciting governance experiment in the context of deep funding. As you probably know, hopefully are aware of, is that we uh, conducted and finished our first ever round of deep funding a couple of months ago. Uh, 12 projects were awarded by you, our community, um, and these teams are now working happily and productively and progressing on, on their projects. So naturally, we are currently thinking about conducting a new round two of deep funding. However, we feel in the spirit of decentralization and community governance that your involvement in deep funding should not be limited to awarding teams and, and commenting on proposals, but we would also like to have your involvement in the rules and processes of deep funding itself. And that is what we aim to do with this experiment. And actually, there are three goals for this experiment. Let me state them quickly and then go in into it a little bit further. So the first goal is, like I already explained, getting input from you. What would you like to see different in uh, the deep funding uh, processes? The second one, at least equally uh, important and exciting, is that this is a first small experiment in reputation ratings. I'll talk a little bit about that later as well. And the third one, last but not least, is that this is also an experiment in incentivization. In other words, we will be handing out 100,000 AGIX to participants in this program based on the reputation rating that they will gain during this project. So let me start at the first point. So we would like to get input from you on, uh, on our deep funding processes, but there are some restrictions. So the restrictions are that it should be limited to round two, because this is an experiment. So therefore we want to limit the impact primarily to round two. The second is that uh, it should not be blocking any, uh, uh, it shouldn't be blocking round two, basically. So if you would put up conditions that are um, not realistic uh, in the short term, like uh, we will only continue if AGIX price is $1,000, then it will in effect block us to do the next round. So that would not be a viable uh, thing. The third one is that it should be practical. We want to start our next round actually as soon as possible after we do this experiment, depending on your answers, of course. Um, so if we would need to make fundamental changes to our tooling or things that are other things that are really time consuming, um, then that would not also not be the most appropriate ones. But apart from that, anything goes. So you can create a proposal on the awards you would like to see for the teams. Or last time we had two pools. We had a pool with a maximum of 40K and a maximum of 140K, 150K. Maybe you would like to see that different. Maybe you would like to see themes uh, for, uh, for new proposals. Maybe you would like to have different conditions to the teams that uh, commit. Maybe you have other ideas about the voting process. I've heard about, about ideas of doing that in stages or having other thresholds for the teams. Um, basically, anything goes as long as it is within the three restrictions that I just mentioned. So round two, not blocking and practically feasible. I'm looking forward to all your ideas and I'm, I really hope to see a lot of new and fresh ideas that we didn't think about yet, uh, uh, yet before. And apart from 
proposing new ideas, I'm also looking forward to your uh, feedback on proposals that others will submit. That is equally important. Um, giving ideas on how a proposal can be improved or um, um, how it can be changed in, a, in, a, in, a, in another way. Um, which brings me to the format of a proposal. So a proposal should have a question that we want to put out to the community for an actual vote. So a uh, proposal could be, would you like to have uh, another category in deep funding? And then the answer could be yes, no, or something else. So you would have to provide a question, a number of answers, some explanations why you think this is important, and ideally um, also some success criteria. So when, so is there a way we can measure whether this new change was successful and therefore should be reused over uh, further rounds, perhaps. So that's about the proposals. By the way, there are articles and there is a document uh, uh, on our deep funding website and our medium where all these conditions and rules will be written down in detail so you can uh, read them at your leisure. Going through the second part, which is uh, reputation rating and to me personally, that is maybe even the most important thing. For those, those of you who have been following uh, SingularityNet for a while, will know that reputation is a thing that has long been debated and thought about and may underpin a lot of things that SingularityNet is doing. So um, our services on our platform at some point might, might have or will have a, a reputation rating. But the same uh, applies to people in our community that would like to vote on, uh, on all kinds of governance proposals, maybe not limited to uh, deep funding in the future. Um, so therefore, this is a really important experiment to get our hands dirty, so to speak, and, and give it a real try in the real world. So what we're doing is we have this portal and you can add your proposals on the portal, you can add uh, your comments and feedback, you can give uh, feedback on other people's uh, feedback, like thumbs up or thumbs down. Um, and all this activity um, will um, define the reputation that you have gained on uh, the platform. And we're looking for the things that are most constructive and, and most helpful to others. So that could be creating a new proposal, but maybe it's just as helpful to create feedback on all the proposals that have been made over there. Um, and other things that would be helpful is to actually cast your vote. So we would also give some reputation points for people who vote more on that later. Um, we will not specify at this moment in detail what, um, how we will create a reputation rating because that is part of the experiment. We feel that we first have to go through this, we have to see what will, what will come out and then we are in a better position to make uh, an algorithm that will define the rating per person. But we will explain afterwards what we did exactly and why we did it. So that is one part, the reputation. Um, the third part is incentive structure. So the first round, we had no financial incentive. So we are counting on your engagement in uh, Singularity Net and in deep funding uh, in order for you to provide your time and attention to the program. And a lot of you did do that and I'm very grateful for that. Still, we would like to see even more engagement in the next round and therefore this is also an experiment on engagement in the sense that we will be distributing 100,000 AJIX over all people that contribute to this experiment. But it will be 
related to your reputation. So if you score a lot of reputation points uh, by either creating a lot of proposals, giving a lot of feedback, giving a lot of thumbs up, thumbs da uh, uh, down to uh, other people's feedback, giving ratings also in, in our portal. All these things are considered positive contributions. And based on all these things, we will, um, yeah, we will define who will have the highest rating. And the person with the highest rating will then also get the highest rewards. So let me tell you a little bit more about um, oh no, no, one moment. Um, a little bit more on the process, um, how we will do it. So we will, we will have two weeks, or you will have two weeks time to submit your proposals. After that, we will have some kind of online meeting where if you want, you can discuss your own or present your own proposal and discuss it with other uh, community members. Then there will be another two weeks where we will try to, or that we will allow everybody to discuss these proposals also on our portal and for you to improve your own proposal based on the feedback that you get. And during that period, we will have another um, Zoom call or similar to, um, to discuss the, the outcomes. Then after four weeks in total is our current estimate. We uh, will uh, have a number of proposals. So I'm not sure those will, there will be three proposals, if there will be 10, if there will be 30 or even more. But let's say we would have 10 proposals, then we think it would be awkward and a little bit much to ask for all the people in the community to study and vote on 10 proposals. So we will bring it down to the two or three that we think are a best fit because they are unique, because they are practical, because they uh, align with the conditions that we put out because, and, and last but not least, of course, because they had most engagement and most applause from the community. Now, also here, we will not put in advance exact rules on how we will make this filter. Again, because this is an experiment. If we will do these things more often, then I hope and expect that we will get an increasingly good grip on these calculations and these filters, etc., so that we can do more of that in advance. But right now, we'll have to use our best, best judgment uh, during the experiment. And again, we will be transparent to you what we did, how we did it, and why we did it. So we will bring it back to uh, three proposals, and those proposals will be added to our SingularityNet uh, voting portal, and they will put up for a real, regular vote. And whatever is voted upon, we will implement in round two. So far, so good. Now, there's one thing uh, which actually also triggered this whole uh, experiment. And that is that we now have a new feature on our portal. It is now possible to log in to, your, to our portal with your wallet. Uh, so you could create an ID that is only based on your wallet address. And right now that is limited to Ethereum based on a MetaMask login. But the same goes for our uh, voting portal. Unfortunately, that is also still limited to Ethereum. We will add a uh, multi-blockchain there, but we're not quite there yet. Um, but that means that if you use the same wallet for your ID and for your voting, we can connect those two behaviors. We still don't need to know anything from you. We only see that there is this ID and you can give yourself a name, it can be your own name, or it can be um, whatever you want to call yourself. And we only see behavior. We see behavior on the portal, and we see voting behavior. And I hope, this is interesting right now, 
but I hope that if we are at the third or fourth round, it will be even more interesting because we see what this person is doing and if he is consistently engaged or not and, and what his voting behavior is in each round. And based on that, we will be increasingly able to give accurate reputation to uh, you, our community members, and reward you for all the um, productive and helpful contributions that you are making. And that is the goal of this whole experiment. So we have current logins on our portal, which are not Web3 based. Um, if you have a current login, you can either choose to create a new identity by creating a new Web3 login or continue with your current login. If you continue with your current login, we will not be able to relate your voting behavior to your portal behavior. You will still earn reputation rewards and you will still earn AGIX rewards if you have um, constructive contributions, even if you don't have a Web3 login. Only if you do have a Web3 login, you will get a little bit extra rewards for having voted. So that is the basis uh, that we set out with on this reputation. So we're hoping for a lot of Web3 logins because we do think there is future there, um, but you're free to do what you want. If you have not, if you don't have a login yet, you can still choose if you want to have a classic login with email and username, password, or if you want to go for the Web3 login. So it's all up to you. Also, there's no KYC or anything required. The only thing that we are looking for is consistent, productive, constructive behavior over time. And based on that, we will create reputation, ratings, and we will be able to increasingly use them uh, over time. Um, it will also have over time a liquid aspect in the sense that if you get positive feedback from somebody who has a high rating already, that feedback might count more than if you get positive feedback from somebody who is new on the, rating, uh, on the, on the portal. I won't go too much into detail here, but all this is meant to give, to make sure that the people who earn it most, who earn most, who add most value, will also earn most reputation and actual uh, uh, AGIX rewards instead of only rewarding people who have the biggest bags at the moment. Um, in the first round, of course, it was one token, one vote on purpose as an experiment. And here, what we will do with the reputation, uh, that's something that I didn't mention yet, uh, we will use it for the rewards. But equally important, we will also use it to influence the weight of the voting. So if you have a high reputation, your vote will count more. So if you have 100 AGIX, but you have a high rating, maybe it will count as 200 AGIX or 300 votes or whatever. We haven't sorted out those details yet, so we don't know the amount of weight it will give you, but it will give you added weight. And that way we try to balance uh, people that have a big bag of AGIX, which should also count. It's also a valid argument, but we balance it with people who may have smaller amount of AGIX, but who are really active in our community. So all this is why I'm so really enthusiastic uh, about, this, uh, about this project, because I think it's the first step, a baby step, in a direction that will become really important for us and will set an example, uh, hopefully, for the larger uh, community. So let me state once again that this is an experiment. Uh, so there's a lot that is not in place yet. We don't have uh, Cardano wallets yet uh, integrated either with our portal or with our voting portal. Um, we don't have functionality on our platform that takes advantage of 
higher reputations in terms of visibility, for instance, we don't have clear, clarified, thought through, stable uh, algorithms for our reputation yet, but we will give it a try. We are at the stage at uh, deep funding that we still have the luxury of being able to do these experiments without incurring a lot of friction. Um, we're still early days, we can still change things. And, and actually, I hope we will stay like that. We will continue to experiment because that's the way to improve and we will continue to be flexible, both from processes and, and tooling uh, perspective. And yeah, that's my personal goal, one of my goals in, in this whole program to stay flexible and to learn and in the process um, make sure that we have a balanced and matured governance protocol that will enable us to give more and more of our um, decisions and directions to you, our community. But that's a journey, it will take time and we'll do it step by step, but this is a first and very important step. Probably I have forgotten a number of details here, but I hope that you get the basic idea and I hope that you will come to our portal proposals.deepfunding.ai and either just create a proposal, just read which proposals are already there. We put in two of them just as a reference, as an example, but you can vote on it and you can give comments on them um, or you can create your own. Um, or just read the proposals and give feedback and think about it. And then ultimately also vote on which things you think are a good idea or vote if you think that a, a proposed change is really a bad idea. So each proposal can have pro and contra votes. I'm really looking forward to see what will happen here because it's a black box basically, it's a jump in the unknown. And I hope that you will all take that jump with me. So I hope to see you there on our portal and also on our social channels on Discord and Telegram. See you there.